After she level at Fat and Line Academy. So in today's class, I want to teach you how you can convert from base two into base ten. Base two is known as binary numbers, and base ten is known as decimal number. That is the numbers that we are used to is decimal number. So the binary number has just two digits, zero and one. So you can see here that. I only have one, 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 zero. So it means that I have just two numbers in, which is zero and one. So if you see the kind, kind of number, you should know that I'm dealing with base two. Now I want to convert it to base 10. If you want to convert from any base to base 10, you are going to multiply each digit in that base that you are dealing with by the base. Then you raise the base by the power that each has in place value. So what do I mean by that solution? So you take the first one, 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 one. You see that this one is under units, this is under tens, and here is under on joints. Now, immediately after the decimal point is tens. Followed by hundreds, hundreds, then followed by thousands. So this is their place value. Now the one with hundred, we, uh, with units, we have the raised power zero. The one with tens, we have raised power. One and the one with hundreds we have raised power two. The one with cents we have raised power minus one. The one with hundreds we have raised power minus two, and the one with thousands we have raised power minus three. Now we have one 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 point zero one one base two. So we want to change it to base ten. So the first thing is that you have to take the first digit a, which is one. Then multiply it by the base, which is 2. So this 2, you raise it to the power here, which is raised power 2. Then you close the brackets. Plus, you take the second digit, which is also 1. Multiply by the base, which is 2. Then you raise it to the power here, which is 1. Plus, you take the next digit, which is also 1 times 2, which is base, raised to the power 0. Plus, you take the one immediately after the decimal point, which is 0, multiplied by base, which is 2, raised to the power of minus 1. Plus, the next one, which is 1, multiplied by 2, raised to the power of minus 2. Plus, the last one, which is 1, Multiply by 2 raised to the power of minus 3. So what I did here is that just raise a 0, 1, 2. Then after decimal point, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So how are these exponents? It is the base that we own them. Not like this. 0 multiplied by 2, everything is power minus 1. This is totally wrong. Please don't do it like this. It is the power that we are multiplying it, each digit with that owns the exponent. So we have to be careful. Now, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. Plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. Plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0 is 2. 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So you write 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over 2. It plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 4. 2 raised to the power 2, which is 4. So 1 over 4. Plus the last but not least, 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of minus 3 is 1 over 2 raised to the power 3. 
And 2 raised to the power 3 is what? 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. So you write that. You have to know this, that anytime you have, let's call any number, let's use A, raised to the power minus 1. It means the reciprocal of A, which would be 1 over A. So anytime I have here raised to the power minus 2, it means reciprocal of x squared and so on. So like this, let's say x raised to the power, raised to the x raised to the power minus n will be what? A, 1 over x raised to the power n. So you have to know all this. 1 multiplied by 4 gives me 4. Plus 1 multiplied by 2 gives me 2. Plus 1 multiplied by 1 gives me 1. Plus 0 multiplied by 1 over 2 gives me 0. Plus 1 multiplied by 1 over 4 gives me 0 0.25. Plus 1 multiplied by 1 over 8 gives me 0 0.125. I have 0 0.375. So I can now say that 1, 1, 1, point zero one one base 2 is equal to 7.375 base 10. So I can see it's very simple. So until I see the next class, bye-bye.